What if I told you that there was a dangerous app that might be on yours or your kids' phones right now? An app very similar to TikTok, but more popular with a younger crowd, yet somehow still being less secure, giving a new meaning to the term targeted audience. An app that is popular among children, but accessible by anyone. What the f- I, I can't even show this. Owned by Bigo Technology, Likey is an app where you can post short videos similar to TikTok. However, there are a few other features on Likey that TikTok does not have, but these features are something that makes Likey a lot worse. Quite a few have come forward with very disturbing experiences using Likey, and it's time to have a conversation about the dangers behind this app. An app called Likey, or Like, like or likey? Likey. That's what it says. Likey has grown in popularity over the past few years, especially with young children. An app that a lot of parents say you should definitely not leave your child unsupervised with. Hello, Chester. Hello, hi. There are some features on the Likey app that are not on TikTok, and I feel like probably for good reason, considering that TikTok knows its audience, its biggest demographic is younger people and children. One thing that Likey has that TikTok doesn't is the opportunity to go into chat rooms. Chat rooms are not the best thing for children to be involved with, especially really young children. There are a lot of people out there that can very easily lie about their age and manipulate them to doing terrible things that will scar them later on in life. Also, there is this little thing. Greetings from strangers are stored here. Why would this be worded like this? One thing I remember growing up that children were always taught is not to talk to strangers. And considering that this app seems to be mostly populated with younger kids, at best the wording here is a pretty poor decision, and at worst, there's something really wrong here. When you use this app, there are a lot of videos that come off as Troom Troom-esque, if you will. In fact, I bet you Troom Troom is on this app. Oh, yep, there they are. And that's not to knock Troom Troom specifically. There's a lot of kids YouTube channels that use this app apparently. Just trying to grab some of my screenshots, I saw Sniper Wolf, so it's not to put them in a bad light. If they are using this app, it's likely to grow their fan base, which they know are kids. So again, it's not to knock any big YouTuber you might see using this app. I'm not trying to call them anything. They're not creepy or anything like that. It's just to show that this app really is geared towards children. A lot of parents should be very wary of allowing their children to use use this app. Now there are parental controls that you could put on with a password, but some inappropriate videos do tend to slip through the cracks, and I know this because I put the parental control on my phone and just scrolled, and it did not take long to find a video that I would deem inappropriate for a child to see, even a teenager, honestly. There are a lot of really inappropriate videos that are being subjected to children, and some of these videos are made with with children in them. You can very much tell that the people in these videos are pretty young. I'm obviously not going to be showing any of that on my channel. However, I will tell you that there are a lot of comments and concerns made by other people who have used the app saying the same thing. In fact, there's a mother who talked about how her nine-year-old daughter used this app and was getting harassed by men online who pretended to be teenagers. And this went really, really really far and got really, really ugly. A young girl has been left traumatized after a stranger threatened to kidnap her if she didn't share explicit photos on a popular smartphone app. A UK mom has revealed that the moment she discovered her nine-year-old daughter had sent topless pictures to a on a video app called Likey after he threatened to take her away. The young girl has been left traumatized after she was tricked into sharing the explicit content with a user who had been posing as a teenage boy. In the article, they showed screenshots of someone saying, you're cute, and what I assume is the girl saying thanks, and that other person saying, someone told me cheerleaders have big and 
it's her responding lol then saying is it true do you have big and her saying i'm only nine the girl's mother who has not been named for legal reasons said the stranger told her daughter he would find her and take her away from mommy if she didn't send photos of herself without a top on since her horrifying discovery the mother has hit out at likey an app that allows users to post videos using magic filters the app has an online community of more than 200 million subscribers worldwide, leaving the mother unaware of who groomed her daughter. And there are more screenshots of a person allegedly saying, hey baby, I miss you. My daughter used to have the most glorious smile, but it just isn't there anymore, and her eyes look distant and vacant, the woman said. She clearly is still affected by what happened and is having lots of meltdowns in school. More screenshots with emojis and saying, do you have a nice... I assume the girl replying with don't know, them saying yeah, and a hands up emoji, them saying can I see, and her saying I can't take a photo of my bitch. The shell-shocked mother immediately called the police, who are currently trying to receive the messages from the account after the girl deleted them in a panic. She even logged onto the Likey app posing as her daughter and was stunned to receive a barrage of messages from strangers who asked her to play dares with them. Others begged her to send them X-rated photos. The mother has now launched a petition to ban private messaging functions in apps aimed at children under 13. Now, if you click on it, it will take you to what shows a petition that says ban chat functions and apps used by children under 13 years old. Now, this petition only received 2,651 signatures out of 10,000. It was posted on November 2019, but shortly after this was posted above it, stating this petition closed early because of a general election. So I'm not sure what the outcome of this was, but hopefully something was done about it, at least in the UK, which is where this story originated from. Now, do note that this was posted a couple years ago, and you would think that since then the app has changed. Well, there have been a few minor changes, such as the fact that I do believe now you have to be over the age of 13 to have an account. Here is a snippet of the app's actual policy, going into this with a little bit more detail. We are committed to protecting the privacy of young users, as defined later. If you are under the age of 13 or 18, if you're using our live streaming service, Services, quote, young users, you may not create a likey account or you will be directed to the model specifically designed for young users, in which we will collect only limited information. We provide a separate policy for young users in the United States on the model specifically designed for young users for information regarding our privacy practices in the U.S. with respect to users under the age of 13. Please visit our privacy policy for young users. If you believe that we have inappropriately collected personal information from a young user, please contact us. Just so you know, this statement here seems less about the entire issue that's been going on with this app and more about the advertisement laws in the United States, which prohibits people from collecting data on children under the age of 13 to use for marketing and ads. However, there is another section that states, Likey Services is not directed to children, and if you are under the age of 16 years old or other age of majority as required by laws of your country or your domicile or 18 if you use our live streaming services you may not create a likey account or use likey services we have zero tolerance to any form of child abuse or exploitation. Your data, including private messages, may be shared with legal agencies if we in our good faith believe that you have engaged in child abuse or if we are requested to do so by relevant legal agencies. That smells like a lot of bullshit considering the previous statement was talking about children under 13 and quote, young users. Not to mention just the demographic with a lot of these bigger platforms on the app itself. It's very easy to see the majority of people using this app are very young. And it seems like this app is unfortunately notorious for actually having having this problem specifically. So if this really is your policy, it seems a little inconsistent and it also seems like it's not being enforced enough. Despite this, however, there do seem to be a lot of young children who either make accounts or use the app without an account because you can do that. You don't need to make an account to use the app. You could still scroll and be subjected to this. But a lot of people who do make the accounts are younger than 13, as mentioned in these reviews on the Apple Store, and they share some real 
really disturbing stories. Let's go over a few. We're going to go over some really disturbing reviews that were posted underneath the Likey app on the App Store. The reason why I find these to be important is because I went under most recent when looking for reviews on this app. So while the article was written in 2019, these were written within the past week. And these are only a few reviews. If I went over every single one star review on this app, we would be here all day. A fair warning, by the way, these are just text reviews. To my knowledge, you can't post screenshots or anything like that on an app review from the App Store. So you can take these with a grain of salt. But to those who might assume that some of these people are just lying for clout, App Store reviews aren't really going to get anybody clout, especially since some of these were posted anonymously. Just wanted to throw that out there before we get into this. I would give this app zero stars, but then I wouldn't be able to make a review. I was about 10 years old when I got this app, and I was so excited to get it. The only problem was that, like many, it's filled with pr the app did nothing to protect me from them. I would get DM after DM with very inappropriate messages, and I would just ignore them, but then it became too much. For the record, you can see who viewed your profile. I blocked the parts, hoping everything would be fine from then, and I could continue having fun releasing my creativity, but I would get notification after notification that they were viewing my profile and liking my videos. I was confused because I blocked them until I looked it up to make sure I wasn't going crazy, and I wasn't because you can press the block button, but the people can still view my videos, save them, and message me. I tried to find a private button, but you can't have your account go private either. So since I was so scared of the messages and people, I tried to delete my account, but I couldn't. You're not able to delete an account, only the videos. So I deleted the videos and left the app completely. I was terrified and heartbroken from what I experienced. I just wanted to go back in time and not ever download the app in the first place. This is a terrible app that is filled with crazy people and there's no way to protect yourself. Do not download unless you want what happened to me to happen to you. My little sister has been stalked by an old man that she met on Likey. He forced her to send private body pictures of herself. He then threatened her if she told anyone that he would her entire family. What hurt the most was looking at my sister's iPad. I cried and cried. I told our mom and we confronted her about it. I took her iPad and decided to confront him as well after that. After that, I deleted the app off of her iPad and our mom took my little sister's iPad. This will stay with her forever. A few days passed and I noticed a car in front of our house. It's been there for days. I asked my little sister what the man looked like. She did not know. At this point, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do but to call the police. They said he he went to jail for seven years. My sister was 11 years old. Now she's 13 and has to go to therapy and is considered bipolar. This app is absolutely disgusting. It didn't care about my family situation and kept the app as it was. I wouldn't download Likey. There are creeps. Someone I know got tons of inappropriate comments. Ban this app, App Store. I don't know how to feel about this, but it seems like every time someone makes a very serious complaint about the app on the App Store, the developer responds and always encourages people to follow up through the in-app report system, I guess. There's a couple problems with this. The first is that some of the people who claim that this app is so seriously bad already deleted the app and don't want to re-download it. And the second thing is, they seem very eager to want to settle this through a system that can't be viewed publicly. Or at least so I would imagine, because if you're sending it to a report system, those usually aren't public. But maybe I could be looking into that too much. Maybe they're just giving a general response, because it seems like they give the same response to other their concerns. It's just that considering the subject matter, it feels very silencing. When I first opened the app, it was really cool. Then I had it for another day, and I got a random message from some random person. Probably some AI or something. Then it took me to a point Site. The title was My Hot Video. Highly do not recommend this app. Something like this isn't uncommon for people. However, again, we're talking about a kid's app, and if a kid's app is allowing something like this, that's a problem. This app's moderation is horrible. I saw a video of a 10-year-old girl dancing, and there were many old men commenting nasty stuff like, you are so sexy, I love you. So gross. Do not get for your little kid. I used to love this app. I got a lot of followers and made friends and much more. Then one day I do a live stream, and people were 
asking what is your name, where do you live, and how old are you, and much, much more. And then a few weeks later, one of my followers texted me and says, hi there, beautiful. I just said hi. And then it says, hello, I am such and such. I can make you super happy for the rest of your life. I would be your sugar daddy. I could give you buttloads of money and we could go on vacations. Something like that, but I try to block that person, but I could not because he did not post anything. That is the only way to block someone. So I deleted Likey and will never, ever get it again. If you are somebody who might have a young child that keeps asking you, hey, can I download Likey? Do a little bit of research into the app itself before you make that decision. Look at the reviews, look at what people are saying, look into these stories because I promise you that this is something that I would not feel comfortable allowing my child to use unsupervised. Be warned that even if you put a parental lock on this app, which you can do, it doesn't make it 100% foolproof as others have also so stated. So at the last minute of this video, I decided to look into this a little bit more. After seeing all of the reviews and hearing all of the stories from people, I wanted to look into this for myself and see if this was really happening. I decided to briefly make a Likey account and put the age as 13 to see if there were any security systems put into place to protect a 13 year old user. And what you are about to see is something I genuinely was not expecting to find within just minutes of looking into this app. You don't even have to make an account. You see how it has creator login? You can log in, meaning that you could see all of these videos without even having an account. So this is the profile I'm making. We got Yikes Wazowski for the profile picture with Mimi and I made the birthday June 1st, 2009 because that would make this user 13. So we can do the parental control feature and we can see what this account will be like from the eyes of a 13 year old. Let's see. The parental controls are right here, the little umbrella. So I'm gonna hit that. It says parental controls disabled. We want to enable it and we'll do one, two, three, four for the password. Now parental controls are on. This is a video under parental lock. More videos under parental lock. Okay, so what parental lock really seems to do, the first thing I notice is you can only share a video or what does this do? Not interested, discomfort, or reduce the record or report. Okay, that definitely is not something that would be appropriate for a 13 year old. The videos are not that different between the ones under parental lock and the ones that aren't. In fact, the ones under the parental lock seem a lot more suggestive than the ones that are just normal. There's something called a chat chat room. This is called chat room. So these are all, I guess you can go into these rooms and so each one has so many people in them. So when looking into this app, I decided to look into the comments on videos that seemed to be from younger children. This was within about five to 10 minutes of using this app. On the third video I looked at comments on, the girl who posted this video listed their age as 94 years old, and this person looked no older than 13. So what that tells me is that this person is likely under the minimum age that you have to be to have an account. Obviously. I'm not going to show their image, but trust me when I say they are very clearly not 94 years old. Anyway, when I was looking into this, I saw a comment on one of their videos by a gentleman who is in his 60s, and it's about to go from 1 to 100. What's this dude? 64. Okay, here we go. This guy is 64. He has videos of himself on this app, on a video that is very obviously of a child. It says, sweet stuff, honey. That's creepy. While editing, I realized that I didn't explain what was going on in this next clip, so here I am to do that now. So on apps like TikTok, you have the option to make your likes private so people can't see the videos that you like. But on Likey, you can't do that. You can see anybody's history of liked videos on their account. And the list of this guy's liked videos was disgusting. While everything is blurred out, the reaction you see from me is genuine because I'm absolutely disgusted. The majority of this guy's liked videos were a bunch of little girls, which I don't know why I'm surprised because the video I found this guy's comment on was a video of a girl who looked no older than 13. 360, you can't see the likes. Wait, can you? Oh my god! What the f- I, I can't even show this. Can I report this? 
dude, like, okay, this this guy's entire like list is like a bunch of young kids. And the reason why I'm including this at all in this video is to show you how easy it is for people like this to get on this app and do this to kids. And also, this was not the only guy. There was another guy who, if I remember correctly, was about 34 years old doing the same shit. Again, this was only within minutes. This did not take hours. This did not take a lot of digging. This was within minutes of downloading the app. They are very, very easy to come across. So I just want to record this part as well. I am deleting this account. Confirm deletion. Your account has been deleted. So yeah, my day is fucking ruined. The issue of childhood safety on the internet is not something that is new. People have been talking about this for quite a long time. However, I have not seen enough people talking about how concerning this app in particular can be because it seems like there is a lack of regulation and a lack of moderation even when it comes to the safety of these kids. They say that they have all of these rules in place and all of these settings done to prevent children from being put in danger, yet you see so many reviews on the Apple Store from people who claim to be children or knowing children that were put in a dangerous situation over this app. In my opinion, it does not seem safe for a very young child to use, and if you are going to allow your child to use this app, please do so with heavy supervision, and please, please, as I previously mentioned, do a lot of your own research into this app before deciding whether or not you want to allow your child to use it. This app has over 500 million users, and when you compare that to TikTok, it might not seem like a lot, but 500 million people is a lot of people. That is a lot. You don't know how many of those people using this app could be dangerous for your child to be interacting with, and this app seems to make it pretty easy for people to interact with each other. With that being said, thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I know this one was a little bit darker and was not a happy thing to talk about, but if you made it all the way through, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting me over on Patreon, especially Lewis, Miss Tanisha, Anthony Tressout, Michelle, and Deemer WM. Thank you very, very, very much, and thank you so much to everyone who has been giving me super thanks. If you see your name here, I just want to let you know that I greatly appreciate you as well, and with that being said, I will see you in the next video with hopefully something a lot less dark, but we'll see.